Yo, man, it's step 30, man. I'm sinking in, man. Um, shout out to all my new subscribers, yo. Thanks for the love. I appreciate it. Even the criticism. That's what's up, yo. Um, I just uh, got finished listening to this uh, Banging This Constitutional Rights by Cassidy. Uh, this is America. Constitutional Rights. If y'all never heard that, it's fire, man. Um, I love to hear things like that, man. I love it. And also that uh that peace from the cash album. I was just banging that too, man. No more beef out in the street. I'm talking about peace. You know what I mean? Um check that out, man. It's 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 real. Um I wanted to get I wanted to get into this uh uh two things. I seen um Tay Rock. I seen the Tay Rock interview, uh still talking about the Cassidy battle. Uh it's a couple of things I ain't really like about that interview that I wanna call out. And then um this whole Gilly the Kid situation, I definitely wanna call out. Y'all know how I feel about that. Um, so let's get to it, man. I, I seen the uh, Tay Rock interview. Uh, thanks to an, an enlightened illumination. Shout out to him. Shout out to enlightened illumination, man. Um, I definitely want to see that video if it wasn't for him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I don't pay attention to stuff like that because it's not good for my for my growth. But um, I seen that video. He was saying something like uh, nothing about what Good said again. Something about delivery and Cassidy delivery wasn't good. And I mean. To me, that it just don't make no sense. He still like these guys don't make any sense. They can't. They, they, there's no logic behind what they're saying. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? That it's like there's no logic behind nothing they say or, or do to me. So I can't watch it no more. Um, how can you say something like delivery when I mean, what's delivery to him? Stopping and screaming, stopping and screaming your bars because that's all he do. That's all he ever did. He been doing that since the Kaboom battle, which he lost by the way. He lost the Kaboom battle. I don't care what nobody say, man. He lost all three of the first rounds, and then he he went he he did good in the overtime by screaming. That's all he did, yo. He lost that battle, just like he got body by Charlie Clips, man. So <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about with delivery, because obviously, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's delivery of the ball, man? That's all he ever do is start screaming. Whenever he get cooked, he starts screaming. You know what I'm saying? Like, whenever the crowd get on the side a little bit, he starts screaming. Like nah, bro. Like nah, bro. Like that don't take. They don't. They don't add to what you're saying. Just cause you're screaming and stomping. I don't give people points for that. So I don't really understand his point with all that, man. Um, and then he tried to make it seem like Cassidy, um, uh, is is like corny for dropping the the, the tracks that he dropped afterwards and still talk about the battle afterwards. Cassidy is promoting himself. Something that you niggas need to do, start doing more, instead of talking about nothing, you know what I'm saying, like, promote yourself, where's your music, where's your, uh, like, what are you doing, for real, like, that's what he's doing, it's not about goods, it's not about the battle, I don't even care about that battle no more, because I feel like he smoked goods, so people that's watching, they don't care about the goods battle no more, nobody, like, Y'all the only ones still trying to hang on that and saying that old Cassidy hanging on it. Nah, bro, because he throwing bars in here here and there. He's a rapper. That's what rapper's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? It ain't a friendly thing. Niggas ain't holding each other hands. I don't like to see that anyway. He's still like, yo, we still ain't cool after the battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to hear none of that. I don't know if them guys, they might be cool for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like, bro, this is competition. I ain't about to let everybody else... You know what I mean? Everybody else don't need to. We, as far as far as everybody else know, we in competition, and that's what I like. I don't like the old friendly stuff. And then you getting on stage screaming and stopping at it. How does that make sense? How does that make sense? It don't, man. You screaming in the nigga face and stopping and yelling and talking about how you gonna kill him. But then y'all, come on, man. Nah, bro. I'm not with that, man. I'm not with that, man. So I don't, I don't get what dude talking about. I'm glad Cassidy putting out these tracks, man. I don't know what Tay Rock talking about. Where his music at? Where his bars at? I don't think he got bars like that, so he can't do it. Like, niggas is just hating, you know what I'm saying? Niggas is just hating, man. And this is what niggas need to understand when y'all talking about this delivery stuff and all that goofiness, man. Like, niggas is not stupid, man. Niggas ain't a bunch of niggas. Like, I just seen, like, let, let, let's put this in perspective real quick, because it's time, yo. I just seen an interview um, not too long ago with 40 bars, where 40 bars says something like, I think it was 15 minutes of fame after the battle. 40 bars says something like, Yo, no, he asked her. He said, uh, what you think about the battles? She said, yo, I don't even know, dog. I'm so drunk, I don't even remember nothing. That's what 40 Bars said. She said, I'm so drunk, I don't even remember nothing, dog. I don't even remember what happened. 
Like, <laughs> how you so drunk at a battle event that you don't even remember what happened? Like, that's to let you know what. Yeah, man, my bad, y'all. I, I had to restart this joint, but um. Yeah, man, how you so drunk at your battle? You a battle rapper, 40 bars. How you so drunk at your battle? You don't even remember what happened. Well, not at your battle, at the battle event. You don't even know what happened. You supposed to be, you working. That's part of your job. You do there to pay it to see what's going on. Like, to, and you scoping the niggas and the people that's your competition that you trying to, you got to outshine in order to get to the top. That's how it's supposed to be, right? You, you supposed to be looking, you supposed to be seeing what's going on and seeing, like, and, and, I don't, man, that's crazy to me, man. How could you be at an event and be so drunk you don't even remember what happened? At an event that big and get on camera after the event and be able to say, I don't even remember what happened. It explains a lot about her character, man. I ain't even going front, dog. Like, because, uh, and a lot of these guys' character, because, uh, if you see her most important battles, was against uh her most important battle was against jazz and she choked all three rounds in that battle <laughs> it was the most she got body you know what i'm saying um in the daylight battle the nigga smoked her so bad in the first and second round that he had to save her in the third you know what i'm saying like so that just lets you know like what tip these these people was on they not for real they not for real they don't take this serious for real for real and then he'd be trying to trying to downplay a nigga like cassidy for actually taking it serious and actually putting work in actually putting time in you know what i mean keeping his fans interested and not just giving us three little battle rounds and not doing nothing afterwards and just getting lazy you know what i'm saying my, I, my man looks so tired in that um in that interview i forget who he had the interview with it just came out he looks so tired in that interview he like he could barely stay awake bro like he like he could barely stay awake dog that's how i know that nigga's working he's working hard I'm seeing track after track come out with Cassidy or featuring Cassidy or like uh, he working. You know what I'm saying? And I got to respect that work ethic. For, forget the battle. You know what I'm saying? Forget the battle. Like, forget that. I'm worried about Cassidy next battle and I'm worried about what he putting out next. That's what I'm worried about. People keep trying to do that. And nah, man, where, where, where y'all work ethic at? 40 bars. Tay Rock. You know what I'm saying? Tay Rock. The nigga who lost to Kaboom. He lost to Charlie Clips and then he lost to Kaboom and then decided to go to URL with uh with Charlie Clips style with that four bar with that four bar um setup type of thing and then and then the line at the end that was Charlie Clips style and it's only about a good five URL battle rappers that don't use that style now they all took it they all took Cassidy style punching style first and then they and then when they got the URL they took Charlie Clips uh four bar setup style which is not that crazy. Keep it real. It's kind of boring because y'all all do it. It's getting tight, whack. Like, so I don't understand what Tay Rock was talking about, man. Um, I think these guys need to start talking more logical, man, because they don't be saying nothing. I'll be looking at the interviews. I'll be waiting for them to say something that makes sense, and they don't never say nothing that makes sense to me, man. They really don't. And I, I just get tired of watching this hard for my brain to take that. Like these niggas all act like Goods fans. They all act like the same way Goods fans act. You know what I'm saying? Whenever Goods fans come to my page and say something and leave a comment or or or, 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 or try to defend their case or defend his case, they always say something stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, they never, they always try to say something like, I don't, they try to pick at things and then try to make a joke out of it or something goofy like that instead of really being logical and seeing what happened. You know what I'm saying? They try to make jokes about the nigga that's the, the same Cassidy one. You know what I mean? Like, and that's that's how, that's exactly how all these battle rappers are. They not, they, they don't got no logic. For a nigga to say, to make it seem like Cassidy is corny for coming out with the tracks he came out with. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? What are you doing to promote yourself, bro? Like nothing. You 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 just tie, you just stalemated with a nigga that that sounded like New Jersey twerk the whole battle. So that just lets you know what's going on here, man. That just lets you know what's going on here, man. Um, yeah, man. I'm gonna, let me let me get into this Gilly thing, man. I'm pretty sure y'all already know how I feel about it. Um, Gilly been Gilly been acting weird about this whole casting situation for a while now, man. And um, I just like I don't know if y'all seen the interview or it wasn't an interview. It was just him on live, I guess, just talking the way he be talking. And um, he disappointed me again, man. He just keep disappointing me, man. Cause I'm from Philly, yo, and Gilly was somebody that I really look up to, man. He really was, man. And I'm, you grow up and you start to realize what's real and what's not. You start to realize what's real and what's not. No matter how much respect I have for him, 
no matter how much I looked up to him as a kid and I respected his movement and the major figures and all that, man, and how I grew up off of that, all that go out the window, man, when you do a certain amount of things that's that's just not OG style. That's And things he's doing right now is just not OG stuff. It's not OG moves. I can't respect it. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. The way he coming off, the way he going about things, I just can't respect it. He been, he been hating on Cassidy since before the battle, man. He been coming at him. He been trying to say he lost before, and that like, but then trying to be fake and be like, no, cast my man. No, that's not your man, homie. We all know that. And thanks for finally showing your hand. Thanks for finally showing your hand because we was all just waiting. And it's crazy because all the all the bloggers are saying like, yo, all the new bloggers are saying like, yo, just let these niggas keep talking. Just let these niggas keep talking, and they're gonna bury themselves. And, and that's what all these niggas are doing. They burying themselves. They burying themselves. They making themselves look crazy, man. Making this stuff look real crazy, man. Uh, Gilly got on camera talking about uh, uh, you was uh, you your your flow old and uh, you was getting booed during the battle and you was arguing with the crowd and a bunch of nonsense that don't got nothing to do with what was said. You know what I'm saying? Nothing to do with a battle was about. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. He's talking about a bunch of irrelevant stuff. Say who said what in the battle that won. But he can because he don't use logic when he get on camera and say things, especially when he in his emotions. And he's definitely in his emotions when it comes to this Cassidy stuff. He always has been. I don't know how y'all can't see that. That boy is definitely in his emotions. Everything he say about Cassidy is almost emotional, man. For the for the past how long? And about a lot of things. About a lot of situations for real, he can't control his emotions. It's, it's clear. It's clear, man. You can go back to the to the Kodak Black situation and the Soldier Boy situation and see he can't control his emotions. This man in his mid-40s. How y'all not see that, man? How y'all niggas not like not saying nothing? Um. Then he had the nerve to say, "Oh, and then then you had the nerve to talk shit about me. You had the nerve to talk crazy about me." All Cassidy said, all Cassidy said was, "Yo, Gilly, don't even." And first of all, you made multiple blogs about the dude saying how he lost and, 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 and talking about him. All he did was answer the, the interviewer's question and say, "Yo." It don't matter what Gilly said because he don't really judge battles like that. He never been a nigga around that's really been in the battle rap and judging battles. So it don't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he he got a point and he allowed to feel that way. You know what I'm saying? He allowed to feel that way. Why is it disrespectful for him to say that when you've been getting on camera and talking about him and saying whatever you want for how long, man? You know what I'm saying? I don't get that. How you going to come at a nigga like that? Uh, I can't, you disrespected me. You remember what happened last time you disrespected me? Something stupid like that that don't make no sense. Again, nothing logical. Talking about he ran up on him and he ran down on Cassidy and 50 niggas before and yelled at him and nobody did nothing. Oh my God. It's just, how can y'all not see that this is all stupidity? How can y'all not see that? It's stupid. It's a bunch of stupid shit, man. It's just like every other situation he get in. He, he don't handle it like an OG, man. He don't handle it like a nigga that niggas look up to. Not to me. Not to me, man. It don't come off that way, man. And I, it's disappointing, yo. Because I, I, I think, I, I really did think higher of Gilly. For a long time, man. For a long time, man. And for him to be pulling moves like that, to be saying things like that on camera, like, over nothing, because a nigga said your opinion don't matter. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, it made you that emotional. You know what I'm saying? It made you that emotional, bro. Like, he's just showing his hand right now, man. Heavy, man. I think he looks corny. He been looking corny, man. Handle things like an OG, man. Say something real. Say something logical, man. It's the same thing with the Kodak Black situation, yo. The Kodak Black, like, you you could look at Kodak Black and tell he a young he a young dude. He's he, he seen a lot. He's been through a lot. He's he been around the wrong type of people. He don't really care about life. You know what I'm saying? He don't really care. Like, you feel me? So, for somebody you know whose mentality is like that. And for you to be an OG, and for you to be getting on camera and making threats to him and giving him the gilly eyes and not had nothing wise to say to that to that young man, that's crazy to me. That's not OG moves to me. I'm not giving niggas no credit for that. I'm not, man. You more than twice that boy age. Soldier boy too. The same thing with all these situations, he handled them the same way. And it's all whack. It's all whack, man. I don't respect it. These is these is young boys to you. And you're supposed to be an OG. And this is how you handle these situations, man. Not with, not with class, man. This is not, this, this is not handling these situations with class, girl. You know what I'm saying? I don't respect it no more, man. I'm, I'm really mad at that boy, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you know, this is how you know goods lost. <laughs> this is how you know goods lost, cause niggas is trying to, um, niggas is trying to validate the things that good said in the battle after the battle already over, already over. 
The battle already happened, bro, and now you're trying to validate it. You know what I'm saying? The Gilly wasn't playing with you. Meek wasn't playing with you. Well, y'all had several opportunities to get at Cassidy and nothing happened. So, don't say, you know what I mean? Don't try to validate the whack stuff that Goods was saying now after the battle. That's how you know that man lost and niggas can't take it. But, um, yeah, man. Like, the Gilly moving real whack, yo. Gilly moving real whack, man. And it's disappointing to me, yo. And then I seen him had a nerd to say something like, just because I'm, uh, he said, just, he said, just because I'm, uh, I'm a, I'm a, uh, somebody who's trying to, um, be positive, a positive figure in the community, just because I'm a positive figure, figure in the community, don't mean I won't, you know, I don't know what he said to that, something silly, like, I don't, I won't do this, or I won't do that, or I can't get back in that bag, or something silly like that, that somebody his age shouldn't be saying anyway you know what i mean especially about something stupid um okay you first of all for you to say you a positive figure in the community let's let's dig into that real quick let's let's sink into that let's sink into that i never heard you make a song like constitutional rights before i never heard gilly make a song like peace before i never heard even gilly even have a freestyle that's that's touching on anything anything pertaining to things like that ever if i'm wrong send it to me in the link in my comments because i want to know and i want to eat my words i want to eat my words so please make me eat my words send me the link where gilly has did any song or any said anything like the things that cassidy says in constitutional rights and in the song peace because I've never heard Gilly say nothing like that before, man. And I don't think nobody going to be able to send me that link. So what positive figure is you in the community? What you do positive? All you do is get on camera every time you situation and act like a nigga. That's all you do. That's all you do. So what positive are you? is Gilly talking about? I want to know. What do we do? You know what I mean? Like, what do he do, dog? Because the energy he put out there for the most part is definitely not positive. It's definitely not positive, man. It's not, man. The, you, ain't, you ain't got nothing positive to tell none of these guys. None of these young guys, like nothing, man, nothing, man. And I, I, you have situation at the time, at the time, at the time, at the time to prove yourself and to catch yourself, man. It's been countless situations where you had an opportunity. If you look at somebody like my son, my son don't be reacting to things the same way Gilly be reacting to stuff. Re my son reacts to things like a OG because he's a real OG that has seen so much shit and been through so many things. That things like this ain't going to move him to that point. That things like the things that Gilly get moved by ain't going to move him to that point. You know what I'm saying? Because you can tell it's a, it's, it's, it's a different energy. Gilly not on that time, man. He acting like a kid. like, And it's, it's starting to get whack, man. Y'all, people got to start. Yo, we got to start calling this shit out, man. People can't be like, I don't know what it is, yo. It's like a thing in the community where niggas is afraid to call niggas out for the corny stuff they do. It's like they afraid to, to, to call them out and to check them and to stand. Like, it's, it's like, why? 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 It's the problem. We keep just letting niggas get away with anything. And then just, just like, nah, bro. That's the way he moving, not thorough. It's not, man. It's not for somebody his age, man. That's why niggas like, on a side note, that's why people like Ben Shapiro could come out and say things like the black community is the way it is because of culture and sound halfway right. Might be all the way. You know what I'm saying? At this point, it's almost undeniable because we don't come out and and and, and like check each other on, on, on stupid on stupid stuff. We got to. We got to start checking each other or else niggas just going to run around rampant. You know what I'm saying? That's why everybody always say, yo, it's no guidance. There's no old heads no more. Because it's not, man. It ain't too many of them no more, man. The old heads is acting like little kids. They get these smartphones and they start acting like little kids, man. So, these old niggas, man, they need to get flip phones or something again, man. Y'all need to start being OGs or something again, man. Y'all need to get off of that, man. Like, because y'all wonder why, like, they wonder why the young niggas don't look at the old niggas like they crazy. I know I do. I look at a lot of these old niggas like they're crazy. You, you can ask anybody that ever been around me how I feel about old niggas. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to give you the same the same answer, dog. I don't got no respect for none of them. Because they be a contradiction, yo. It ain't too many OGs that I already consider OGs. You know what I'm saying? Because OGs move different. An OG supposed to be showing me how to move. Supposed to be showing me what I should aspire to be. When I get older. Or to be better than when I get older. When I when I'm when I'm the age, 
Not the way Gilly moving, man. The way he moving ain't solid, yo. And, and, and it's time. It's time for people to start like calling out people like that. That's supposed to have that got influence and 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 people look up to and claim to be this and claim to be that and claim to be OG like that. Though we gotta start calling these people out, yo. We gotta start telling them because they're not gonna know unless we tell them. Just like all these little bad little niggas out here that's just doing whatever. That's just running around rampant. They're not gonna know unless some, somebody take the time out to tell them and stop being afraid. Stop being afraid to, 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 to look not cool. That's why I'm always going to stand out because I'm always going to keep it real. I'm always going to keep it real, man. I'm not going to bite my tongue up when, when, when I see things like this, yo. I just can't. So, um, yeah, man. I, I, I don't know what Gilly talking about when he's saying that positive figure. I'm sure you do some positive things. We all do, man. But it's about the energy that you put out there for the most part. And when you say things like I'm, I'm being a positive figure for the community, what, bro? You must be taking cr credit for uh, what Wallow267 doing. Because he's definitely a positive figure for the community. I'll never see him acting like this about nothing. About nothing. He, he could control his emotions. And that's the difference between him and Gilly. You know what I'm saying? That's why I can't say nothing bad about him. <laughs> I can't. I, I follow him. I, I like all his posts. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he be saying real stuff. Like, he really a positive energy. He really a good influence. Gilly ain't man, and it's it, it's time, man. It's, it's somebody you gotta get this message out to Gilly, man. For real, man. I ain't a nigga that's just sitting here blogging, trying to trying to um, yeah. You know I mean, just get a couple numbers off of whatever, man. Nah, man. We need to start talking to these guys, man. For real. You know what I'm saying? I know I might have said a couple uh a couple sideways things that seem sideways about Gilly in, in a couple blogs before, but end of the day, dog, I'm realizing like. I can't react to things like these guys react to things. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not going to get no point across. You got to move different if you want to stand out and if you want to make a difference. You know what I'm saying? So somebody get this ball to Gilly, man, because he need to see this, man. It, this is crazy, yo. Man, shout out to everybody, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get up out of here, yo. That's the only points I had to make, man. But uh, this is it. Shout out to Philly, man. Philly, we need to start. We need to start moving different, man. We need to start acting right. You know what I'm saying? And we need to start letting niggas know. We need to start standing up to niggas that's, that need to be told the right stuff. You know what I mean? That need That's not acting right. and need to be got put, pushed back in the right direction so we can all grow together. You feel me? Um, that's it, man. Peace, man. Y'all be easy, man. I'm out.